here at UDS-R and Lenaro Connect or LCE12 Copenhagen and as the name implies um, we're in Copenhagen, Denmark. I'm here with Jesse Barker and Alexandros. And Alexandros, I never get your last name right. Can you tell everybody what your last name is? Yes, it's uh, Francis. And you two um, have been involved, um, Jesse, you're with Lenaro, you're the graphics tech lead. That's right. You were, Alexandros, you were with um, Lenaro. Lenaro, but now you're with Canonical. That's right. I was a canonical assignee uh, within Lenaro, and now well, I, I went back. Earlier this year, um, the, uh, a book called Open GL Insights was published, and you two had a, a very strong hand in a couple chapters. How did that book come about? What was your insight, uh, or what was your input to that book, and where can people find this book? Well, uh, I, I think it... it, it it, goes, it came out at SIGGRAPH, which is sort of the big computer graphics conference in the year. Uh, it was just in August. And it, it came about because uh, Alexandros and I had been working together on, uh, on an open source OpenGL benchmark together. Um, actually, he was the one that roped me in. And uh, I was uh, talking with a guy at one of the Birds of a Feather at SIGGRAPH about it, and he's one of the editors of the book. And so, you know, when I told him about what Alexandros and I were doing, uh, he got really interested in and, uh, you know, thought that it would make an excellent contribution to the book. And so we, yeah, that's sort of how it came about, I guess. Yeah. And for those who aren't familiar with OpenGL, can you explain a little bit about? Uh, sure, sure. So OpenGL is a... Um, a, a 3D graphics programming uh, API, and uh, um, it's just celebrated its 20th anniversary. So it's kind of been, you know, an industry standard thing for you know for most of that time, and uh, it enables people to to kind of get access to to the great GPUs that are out there in, in in the world and draw really cool pictures on computer screens. I guess. What excites you most ab about being involved? With, with this book, what excites you most about what you, what the projects that you were working on at Lenaro that contributed to you all contributing to the book? Um, and what can people see throughout the next year in the case of Canonical, the next release cycle, in the case of Lenaro, um, between now and the next Lenaro Connect? Well, why don't, why don't you take the, the, the first part of that since, you, like I said, you got us involved. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. From the canonical part, there's a focus on mobile, as you already know. So there are some experiments now with uh, a Nexus tablet, and we are moving from there. We are improving the desktop and ensuring that it runs great on that platform. Um, so that a large part of that is improving support for OpenGL ES, which is the Im embedded subnet set of OpenGL which is a subset of the API that runs on embedded platforms. And from the Lenaro side of things, what can we see um, between now and next Connect? Well, uh, hopefully, hopefully more good developments on, on, uh, on the GeoMark 2 project that was, that was the sort of you know, origin of, of, our, of our participation in, in this book, uh, and, and a whole lot of other great things. Uh, we're going to take a lot of the work that you and I have talked about in the past on uh, you know, sort of unified memory management and things like that, and really kind of expand, expand the coverage of, of where that's used and, uh, and continue making it, making it much easier for, uh, you know, to develop for Linux and the ARM ecosystem. In one of our conversations, I sort of made the mistake or assumption that there was not a large following um, with the progress that was being made um, with graphics, and I was quickly corrected. So if people who want to get involved and help either one of you on the teams that you're involved with, how can they get involved with your team, Jesse, and then how can they get involved with your team, Alexanders? Well, uh, our team, um, we have uh, certainly a, a homepage on the Lenaro Wiki, which is just wiki.lenaro.org, uh, and you'll find a link to the graphics team right off the front page. Um, and you can find out information about all of our projects and, uh, and the members of the team as well, uh, which is also available from the main Lenaro website. There's a Meet the Team link, and you can find uh, everybody who's involved in graphics there. Right. And on the canonical side, I guess the best way is to focus on the graphics components of uh, the desktop, for example, the Unity, Compass, so visit those pages on Launchpad and fix bugs or <laughs> <laughs> help us in any way. Jesse, Alexanders, thank you both for sitting down here um, and speaking with me and, and telling me about the book, and I hope that people will go and buy it and it flies off the shelves and 
it's hugely successful and you get roped into another book. Um, <laughs> Because I want everybody to feel that pain that goes involved with putting a book together. <laughs> um, but, but thank you, and I look forward to the next Connect, and I look forward to the next UDS. Thank you. Thanks for having us.